I don't know about you, but when a cat goes to the bathroom next to my pillow at night, I get very, very upset. Little did I know till recently that cats, when they go to the bathroom, usually near your pillow or, or something like that, they're trying to communicate something to us. But what do I know of cat language? More about learning what our pets are trying to communicate to us in just a moment. But first, let me share with you a message from the Torah, which has a very similar message. You see, it's a story of Balaam, who is a pagan prophet known for his abilities to bless and curse. Balaam is asked by the king of Moab to curse the Israelites. Over a series of dreams, back and forth, it comes to Balaam that he is supposed to, according to God, go and curse the Israelites as the king of Moab has requested. But the words that are to come out of Balaam's mouth will only be the words of God. Fast forward onto the journey. He's journeying toward Moab with his donkey, his trusted donkey for many, many years when all of a sudden the donkey stops in the middle of the road. He will not move forward at all, for the donkey sees an angel of God right in front of him. But Balaam does not see this angel. So what does Balaam do? In his frustration, he tries to move the donkey forward, but the donkey will not budge. Again, he tries to move the donkey forward, but the donkey will not budge. A third time, he tries to move that donkey forward, but the donkey will not budge. And this time, he turns to Balaam and says, Why are you beating me? Am I not the donkey that you have trusted in riding for so many years? And now you're beating me? Why? Suddenly, the angel appears to Balaam. And all becomes clear that the donkey all along has been paused in the road because an angel of God is there to communicate to them. And what does the angel say? The angel says, when you reach Moab, speak only the words of God. We don't know what our animals are saying to us, but we should make the assumption that they love us just as much as we love them. And that whenever they're doing something out of the ordinary, they're probably trying to say something to us. Which brings me to one final message for us today. On Sunday, this coming Sunday, that is July 21st, we have this wonderful special program to learn how our pets are trying to speak to us. This program is specifically for dog owners. Learn what our dogs are trying to say. Come and join us for breakfast at 9.30. The program begins at 10 this Sunday morning at HCRJ. Learn what your dog is trying to say. This program is for us, not our dogs. So leave your dog at home and learn dog language. Hope to see you there. Shabbat Shalom.